So welcome back everybody, today I'm with Dalmont and we're going to be looking at the Sylvana. Uh, this is a beautiful ship, it's got some serious detail in at the back here. I'm just going to take you over it piece by piece because there's, there's a lot here to look at. Uh, what I'm going to call, like, well, I'd, in fact you're here so you can tell me, is this the tail or an aerofoil? Yes. What is it? It is the tail. Uh, it's kind of the engines. It's the engines, okay cool. So, all right, And we've got turrets on the side there, yeah? Yep, uh, those are kind of stand-ins for the uh, final turrets. It's going to get its own unique turrets. Those are kind of the generic turrets. Oh, okay, nice. And like I say, uh, enough detail in this tail for it to be, you know, someone would think that you'd inboxed it, but I'm pretty sure you've just done it by hand, have you? Well, uh, originally I was going to bend box it because I did actually make the model myself um, nice. for this ship. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I bend boxed it. It ended up not being very good uh, when I imported the hull, so I just built it all from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And we've got using the bend box as the reference, actually. Yeah, a lot of people have been doing the bin box with uh, to schematic, and then using a layer oh. by layer tool to rebuild the actual. Like a lot of the really good ships that I see when I speak to people about it, they've done they've done a combination of hand build and uh, like a layer by layer schematic thing <laughs> as a guide. Maybe in a combination with symmetry sometimes as well. Um, so they like build half the ship. Uh, tracing, they call it tracing. <laughs> Yeah, something similar to that. I tried to do a little bit of asymmetry on this one too, but it's very small. <laughs> and I'm still Just little unable details. to. I'm still unable to tell which ones are flex door and which ones are whole block with the lighting around here. Good, then it's working. <laughs> <laughs> that would be up here is the kind of main hangar bay, I guess. Up here being where? Because I'm just sort of floating along the nose now. Ah, there. Okay. Let's take a look inside then, I can do a few more uh, exterior shots in a minute. So what's in this one? Uh, those are kind of two unarmed uh, extra shuttles. Okay. And it, it does actually appear that we're upside down upon further inspection. Um, I think that, yes, we are upside down. I was filming it the right way up though, luckily. <laughs> it's okay, we got gravity. Right, I'm coming in. Where at? Hanging lights on the floor. Oh, those are attached to the uh, shuttles. Okay. Right, so... What's this area here? Uh, down in front of you, uh, that's kind of like the command and control for the ships coming in and out of the hangar. So... Um, and this one will actually lead down to the core. Oh, okay. I fell to the floor. Oh. oh no! Oh no! Whereabouts? <laughs> so what's down here? That is to the. I'm floor. dead. How oh. did I die? Why? Sylvana killed me. What? How in the world? Your your ship. I... Your <laughs> ship just killed me. <laughs> yeah, I like to build my ships to be pretty. They're not terribly practical. <laughs> Although this one does have some serious firepower. Oh, good. Yeah, the weapon systems are about the only thing that's done. And finally, I'm back. I got killed by a by lava. So yeah, I walked in here and I turned around and I was looking at you, and I was standing in lava. So yeah, that doesn't help. So let's carry on with the ship review. <laughs> Which way are we going? Back up this way is where the more interesting stuff is. Down there is pretty right. much only the core. Okay, cool. We'll come back to that then. And we could definitely check out one of those shuttles too. They're pretty neat little. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll check those out on when we get Just back. That'll be good. Don't touch the lava to your uh, side. Oh god, the lava! It's like a death trap. <laughs> yeah, it's almost as in in insane as a built-in security system of having a turret inside your ship. Yeah. So one of my favorite little parts is actually uh, back here. We got two little vaults on the side, but uh, the idea behind the ship is a very. It's the idea to trick. It's the idea to death maze. <laughs> right then. 
here we are. So what have we got here? We got rooms with booby traps. <laughs> Torture chambers. <laughs> yep. Or potentially some place to store something. Nice. In the future. So what's this back here? The idea of the ship is basically the crew is very small, so we made, uh, well, I made cryogenic chambers, actually, for the crew members to sleep in stasis. Nice. <laughs> yeah, cool. It's all glass except for where they stand. <laughs> so loads of cryopods. Nice. That's really cool. <laughs> Yep, done well there, mate. Well done. And then if we come up this way, we'll get to kind of the coup de gras, the bridge. Mm-hmm. Oh, walls it's a bit of computers. Walls of computers. Lots of computers. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, what does that remind you of, eh? Oh. It's like, yeah. <laughs> That's really good. I love this glass. Place where people can have their little meetings. It's like a hollow table. Things. It's great. Now if only they let us put stuff on the screen. Exactly. Oh, this is a cool room, man. Well done. What can I say? We got a couple more rooms in the front that you have to access to host through the uh, forward shuttle bay for the for this time for the time being anyway I should say okay but that gives us a chance to hop into one of those ships and fly it down there although it won't fit in that docking area sadly ah uh, that's alright right well a little bit less than a graceful exit but that's okay Nice large empty space up here for with turret docking enhancers. Mm. Good. Improved. I think I know what you're going to use this for too. Extra shields and power systems. Exactly. Yeah. So if we fly up here, we've got a couple gravity blocks on the walls. Got it. And the first place we can go is up, which uh, leads us to, I suppose you'd call it either like a lounge or a conference room of sorts. Uh, that's a cool corridor style you got here. Something's shooting, I don't know what or who up, but... Nice array. <laughs> Your internals are grand. These, uh, all these, uh, <laughs> the interior, like, like this here, that reminds me of, a sewer system, or a storm drain entrance, I don't know why. Kind of something similar, it's kind of like an air scrubber. Yeah, and then, I like the detail you put in the roof, how it fits in. Yeah, those in. you can actually see outside. Hmm. And it fits in with the uh, sides as well, which is cool. So I guess this is like just a general meeting room or a debriefing yeah. hall or... A little bit of all of the above. You could probably eat here too if you were so inclined. Yeah. Very nice. Good job. So the last major room we have on uh, this kind of floor of the ship would be the med bay. Nice. Back down through here. Ah, I was wondering what was down here when we went past. Aha! Very nice. Big med bay, expecting casualties. Oh, indeed. <laughs> With a small crew, you gotta be ready. <laughs> That's yeah. right. That's gonna look funny having them being transported through the corridors just to get down here. <laughs> <laughs> they need a transporter room. You know, that might be something I'll include in the final version. Just put a little transporter room in. Whoa. 
So that's pretty much the inside of it. Mm. I will say that that turret underneath packs a hell of a wallop. Yeah, it does look like it. That's a serious turret you've got under here. Yeah, it'll it'll. Uh, it's actually a cut down version. Like I said, the ship will get its final uh, turrets custom built for it. But uh, that turret in its full scale will actually snipe things from like three to four thousand meters away, something like that. <laughs> Although the accuracy is a server setting, so you've got to be careful with turrets. Sometimes they can be scarily accurate. Depends how the server admin feels, I think. <laughs> yeah, this is a it's, a... it's a bit of a precision weapon, but... Uh... Some of the detailing on here is awesome. It's hard to come up with different patterns for uh, putting down wedges. People don't realize it takes quite a long time to come up with something that doesn't look out of place. Uh, one of the biggest problems I had was a lot of the, a lot of the wedges were coming up and looking, I don't know, asymmetrical. Kind of yeah. made it look chunky. Yeah. Biggest problem so I, I have when I'm placing them. these sorts of things is uh, the lighting. Sometimes. Oh I'll, yeah. You know, cool. I think there is a bit of a trick to learning where you can place blocks and where you can't to take advantage of it. I'm not saying it looks bad. I'm just saying that it's not the look that you're going for. <laughs> I'm just flying around taking a few uh, shots of the uh, detailing on the exterior of the hull. Because of course, you know, if for example you're looking for some inspiration, pre pre press pause now. <laughs> <laughs> what to do with large angular spaces. Yeah, oh you've got lots of flat areas of hull. This is what to do with them guys. Also, be careful uh, when you're building your own ships not to do too much ribbing. I see ships made entirely out of ribs, and it's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of people doing ship reviews that uh, downrate a ship because it's got too much ribbing on it. It's something you use sparingly, not all over the ship. Yeah. All rib and no meat? Nah. No one likes that. Unless you like baby back ribs. <laughs> True. I gotta say, I'm quite interested to see how this thing uh, performs against that ballistics gel. Cool. Put a yeah. hell of a hole in it. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I'm in the core now, so I can pop that uh, focus test when he's ready. Alright, I'll load it in.